All right, let's move on. Your next match, London, England. You're taking on Zach Sabre Jr. for Rev Pro. And uh, sadly, you have a knee injury here, Kurt. So it's not the match of the year candidate that I'm sure a lot of folks were hoping for. Uh, but we, I do have a clip. This is the first clip of the week, and we're going to watch it together at the ending. And then I'll read to, you what, uh, read to you what Dave Meltzer says. So let's take a look. Well, Zach is only just getting started, isn't he? He is indeed. There's a powerful kick. From Zack Sabre Jr., the penalty kick style strike. Angle is now troubled in quite a big way. Moving a little awkwardly, I would say. You might be right about that knee trouble. As Sabre Jr. comes in. Got him. No, look out! Big German suplex. Do not get caught by a Kurt Angle German suplex. He's going again. He's got him up! Angle slam! That's going to be the end of the contest. So Here we go. Let me read Meltzer, and then I got some stuff to talk to you about this one. First of all, the crowd, awesome. I know. <laughs> They're always great in the UK, man. Oh, no. So much energy. So Meltzer said, Kurt Angle worked with uh, on June 12th, Revol uh, Revolution Pro in London before 1,200 fans against Zack Sabre Jr. Angle got a big reaction. The match went 9.03 and was super heated while it lasted, and the crowd loved everything. All oh, they did. Angle physically looks in great shape for his age, but his right knee was clearly bothering him and was one of those matches where the crowd was just so hot for the idea of the match. Everything looked good and was well-timed. It was mostly Sabre doing his British-style spots and Angle doing his trademark spots built around the Olympic Slam German suplex series and the ankle lock, which he won with. They played the WWE music for Angle, and everyone chanted, you suck at him, but in a good way. Sabre had gotten off a few ankle lock attempts earlier. It was a good match, but if you were looking at a match of the year and had those kind of expectations, it wasn't there due to Angle's knee injury. 
Engel then said uh, he was amazed at the level of the talent in Revolution Pro and put over Sabre saying, if he's not a big star in five years, that something is wrong with this world. He apologized for his performance, saying he had a knee injury and couldn't show his best, but vowed to come back when he was healthy. So, Kurt, here we go. I got a couple questions here. Flying to England and doing this type of match can't help the knee situation, but what did you think of the promotion Rev Pro and how they treated you, buddy? Oh, I love Rev Pro. Um, I would have went back there again, especially in the UK. He's a huge name in the UK. He's been really successful in Japan. Yeah. And um, I figured this. I figured some major promotion in the United States was going to sign this kid because he was so damn good. Now, back then when I wrestled him, he looked like he was 18 years old. Okay, he didn't have much of a build on him, but man, he could go. He was he was a machine. He had so much great technique. I really loved wrestling with this kid. I think if my knee wasn't that bad, uh, I would have had a five-star match with him. 